The English language is complicated, and because of that, it can often be overwhelming. For every rule, there's an exception. For every spelling pattern, there's a rule breaker. The good news is, though, that if we take the time to understand the history, the roots, the sources of the language, we can actually help students better understand where these exceptions come from, which makes it a lot easier for them to apply them and to use them. If students are explicitly taught the structure and meaning behind a word, including prefixes, roots, and suffixes, they are then given a pathway of spelling a word that's much more successful and efficient. A suffix changes the meaning of a word. So, base word I have chosen today is the word paint. So real quick, I want everyone to close their eyes. Close your eyes. When you hear the word paint, what do you see in your head? Jackson? Um, I saw paint everywhere. Zoe, what did you see? I saw a paintbrush and a paintbrush. Wonderful. How would I describe paint? Davis? Wet, colorful, usually. You got it. So paint is the actual liquid that we're using to create art. What do you notice about the spelling of this word? What has been added to my root word or base word, paint? Ella, what have you seen? A suffix. A suffix. Who can raise their hand and tell me what suffix has been added to the word paint? Charlotte? Ing, I-N-G. I-N-G. Everyone close your eyes again. Who can share? What did you see when I said the word painting out loud? Elizabeth? I saw um, um, an artist painting a portrait. I saw like a guy painting like something like a cat, dog. David Sarr? I saw one of those paintings. Absolutely. So, if you look up at the board, many people saw a person who was painting or the action painting, but Davis actually saw the object of a painting on a wall. So when I added the suffix ing, did I change the meaning of the word? Yes. Did I go from a liquid that we use to create artwork to an actual object that's hanging on the wall? Yes. Or an action of a yes. person painting? Yes. How crazy is that? What do suffixes do? Change the meaning of the word. Beautiful. All right, let's look at one more. What do you see when I say the word painter out loud? I see a professional painter. I see like a painter who's working in his shop painting. What is the suffix that we added to the word paint? Davis? Er. E-R. E-R. Did we change the meaning of the word yet again? Yes. yes. Beautiful. All right, so I'm going to be giving you a word based on its meaning. So I'm giving you a little bit of a challenge today. Are we ready? Yes. All right, so let's try an example together. I'm going to ask you to spell the word meaning a person who farms. What word would I be writing on my desk? Elizabeth? Farmer. Farmer. What's the base word in the word farmer? Charlotte? Farm. Farm. And what suffix would we be adding to the base word farm? Zoe? Er. Er or E-R. Everyone write the word farmer on your desk. Spell the word meaning jump in the present or happening now. Ooh. Zoe, what word did you spell on your desk? Jumping. Jumping. If I'm jumping, is that happening right now? Yes. Absolutely, it's happening in the present. Zoe, can you spell the word jumping for me? J-U-M-P-I-N-G. What's the base word in the word jumping, Zoe? Jump. And what suffix did you add to the word jumping? I-N-G. I-N-G. What does I-N-G mean? Happening no. now. Making a connection between the meaning of a word and its spelling enables a student to have a method to spell a word using the parts of language that they practice on a daily basis, instead of just memorizing the word solely based on sight and sound. So giving students purpose and meaning behind their learning is truly empowering.